I can't take credit for this, but someone on Telegram shared this rant and it's brilliant. Imagine if President Trump would have sent the FBI to raid Barack Obama's personal residence. Just picture that for a moment. They would have called him a dictator. Oh, wait, they called him that anyway. Could someone remind me of literally anything Trump did to be considered a dictator? Was it lowering taxes, cutting regulations, ending wars, bringing troops home, lowering funding to NATO, the UN, the WHO, opportunity zone programs for impoverished neighborhoods, giving low-level nonviolent inmates a second chance, fixing mandatory minimums, launching a worldwide effort to stop persecution of gays, deporting MS-13, protecting our borders, crusading against human and child trafficking, bringing back manufacturing facilities, evening out our suspiciously lopsided trade tariffs, getting our soldiers' remains back from North Korea, getting terminal patients the right to try, record highs in our stock market, getting big pharma to match low prices abroad, reaching energy independence, brokering peace deals all over the Middle East, record low unemployment, keeping gas and inflation majorly down, donating a salary to different organizations like the ones fighting opioid addiction every quarter, and doing this for free, telling the American public how much he loved them over and over. I want to know. I want you to show your anti-Trump friends this and ask them what on earth Trump did to be considered a dictator. It's criminal how underreported his deeds were, but what's even more criminal is how underreported this administration's tyranny has been. And now you can add the rating of President Trump's personal home to this long list. This is not okay.